What is up, guys? Pinker49 here. We're back from the Desolation map. And if you're a reader of signs, you're going to figure out that we're in a place that you do not want to be for very long. No, no, no. Don't stay here long, guys. This is not a happy place. We're in the jail, the Coco Cafe, the jailhouse cafeteria. Oh, this is not a happy place. You know, a lot of subliminal or not so subliminal. How the heck do you say that word? Subliminal. Not so subliminal messaging there. <laughs> it's all up in your face. Every time you go to have a meal, don't stay here long, guys. Don't come back here, <laughs> okay? This is the Coco Cafe. You remember this Monday's Question of the Week video? I was working on the cafe and I got a lot of it done. As per a suggestion on Monday's video, I put a little things there. I forgot who your name is, what your name is, but you uh, had a good suggestion. I implemented it. There you go. The rails have uh, blocks into them. Cool. So yeah, I finished up in here. We got some trash bins and things. This is where the play... Ooh. There's an egg. Why do I have an egg? I don't, get out of here. Oh, great. There's a, now there's a chicken in the jail. Oh, this is my favorite part. Yes, yes. Come here, chicken. Oh. These potions go like two inches. What is going on here? Uh, I hate these potions now. Anyway. Anyway. So, yeah. I was working on this cafeteria on Monday's video. I got a lot done, but I didn't finish it. So, I finished it up for you guys. Today, we're going to be working on the kitchen. And I got my man Stale Raisin here with me. He's going to be helping me on this build. Now I'm going to go and fast forward so we get a lot done today. I think we're going to finish the kitchen. We're not going to finish, finish. Like I say, guys, it's only the first draft. We're going to go through it once and do everything we can. And then we'll come through and we'll apocalyze this kitchen and make it look like some inmates were having a riot in here. <laughs> okay? If I was an inmate having a riot, I'd probably raid the pantry too. So I'm going to work on a few pantries here. And, uh... You know, I looked at some pictures of prison kitchens. Usually jails don't really have kitchens because in a jail, you kind of stay in your cell and they bring the food to you. In a prison, you're more of like a, a long-term person, you know. So you have to have this routine where every day you go to the, the, the mess hall and you have your food and whatever. Uh, so this is a mixture of like a jailhouse slash ki uh, prison kitchen, okay? <laughs> it's not exactly accurate, but I wanted to build a prison-type kitchen for this jail. Because I want these inmates to feel like they are in prison. Alright? So uh, I would like to thank Stale Raisin for coming in and helping me today. He's the type of person where I can give him minimal directions and then he'll he'll do what I want, but he'll put his own spin on it. And that's exactly what I'm looking for in a helper. Someone who can take directions, someone who can see my big picture, but they don't need me to hold their hand to, to reach that picture. That's the type of builders I'm looking for. If you're that type of builder, like Stale Raisin here, contact me, join my party. That's another thing, guys. I don't want you guys to feel like my party is for my friends. My party is almost always open. If you see it open, you are welcome to join. Come join us. You don't even have to talk if you don't want, if you're kind of embarrassed or shy. That's okay, I understand. But at least come join the party and say hi. And, uh, you know, check out if we're doing PvP soon, because if enough people start pounding me about PvP, I'll just relent and I'll just start a PvP game. We're going to play some PvP after I do this video, so, yeah, this is exciting times on the Desolation map. I've got a new PvP game that we're going to test out. If it works, guys, I'm going to make videos about it. I hope you guys enjoyed GoldenEye. I'm not going to stop talking about GoldenEye. Everyone says that it's one of their favorite games on the Desolation map, and I tend to agree. I'm more partial to Hearts vs. Minds. I'm a huge Hearts vs. Minds fan, but the GoldenEye game is just, it's just so much fun. Dan Lags, Big B Stats, Joel Kyle, Mania, anyone, Juicy Taz, IGL Xenix, I'm inviting you all to come and play. Please come over. Uh, make videos if you want, or just play for fun if you want. I don't care. I just want you guys to play some GoldenEye because it's so much fun. And then we can play some Hearts vs. Minds too, after, because... That's equally fun. For different reasons. It requires more strategy. There's less killing, more strategy. Which is good as well. Okay? Now, you guys are probably used to me ranting and raving while I do these fast forward videos. <laughs> you know? Because I'm not necessarily talking about what I'm building here. Uh, this is the pantry where they're going to store the dry foods. The, the long term foods. Next door to it is, of course, the, the, the cold storage. And I'm probably going to make that melted and stuff with water running out when I apocalypse this place. But for right now, like I said, we're building it all nice and neat. So it's just going to be like that. So what I want to talk about today, and this relates guys, is the police. Okay? 
the police. Oh, man. They've been in the news a lot recently. There's a lot of people who are kind of upset with their hijinks right now in the United States. So it's kind of a hot topic these days. It started, you know. Well, what do I need to say about this? Recently, I was harassed by the police. Very recently, like a few days ago, I was harassed by the police. And they tried to, to uh, ascertain my identity illegally. And uh, I stood up for my rights. And it caused some problems, okay? It caused a lot of problems. Well, I don't want to give you guys too many details. Uh, just in case, in case I'm going to be, you know, arrested for something. I didn't do anything wrong is the funny thing. That's the funny part about it. Basically what happened is I was in a bar drinking a beer. And the cops seemed to think that I was outside of the bar when I wasn't. And he came up and asked for my ID. And I said, I, I wasn't having any, I know this cop, I've seen him before. He actually illegally checked my friend's ID and I didn't, I let that slide. But I know my rights, guys. I know exactly what the Constitution entitles me as a citizen of the United States. So as soon as he said, can I have your ID? I said, am I being detained? That was my first question. I looked him straight in the eye, am I being detained? And I said it with some attitude to it because I've, like I said, I've interacted with this cop before. And he didn't like that. Oh, no. Um, guys, in the United States, if you are not driving, if you're just out on the street, you are not legally required to show a police officer your identity, your ID card, unless you're suspected of a crime, in which case he has to detain you. Okay? So that was the, that was the situation we were in. He was suspecting me of a crime, but he didn't... He wanted, he wanted to get my ID without having to detain me basically so as soon as I said am I being detained this cop started stammering and he didn't know what to say he was shocked that oh uh, he's like oh here we go someone who knows their rights how am I gonna deal with this guy so he started stammering he didn't know what to say and I patiently waited and when he's got he had nothing for me I said again am I being detained and this infuriated him infuriated and he got really pissed he pulled out his handcuffs he's like oh you wanna do it that this way huh we can take you down to jail if you want. And I just stood there I, I with a blank face, stare, blank expression on my face. I just looked him in the face and I said, so I'm being detained? And he said, yes. And I said, so what are you detaining me for? Because they ha legally have to tell you why you are being detained. And he again stammered. He couldn't think of anything. And then he's like, uh, um, uh, obstruction of justice or whatever he said. I don't even know what he said. But he, he came up with some fake charge. So at this point... He's got my hands tied. He's de determined that he is detaining me, uh, which is the choice he has to make because now he's got to fill out paperwork and all that stuff. So he's detained me officially. So I give him my license and he runs it and it comes up with nothing. And he tried to use all sorts of intimidation tactics to try to get me to admit to, to wrongdoing. He tried to threaten me with jail, threaten me with citations, tried to take my picture, which I refused. This guy was trying to run all up over me, and I just stood there, brick. I stonewall him. And you know why I was able to stonewall him, guys? Even though this guy's got a huge gun on one side of his hip, he's got a taser on the other side of the hip, he's got his handcuffs, which are in his hands, which he's threatening me with, and I stood there with 100% confidence. I knew that he would do nothing to me. And you know why, guys? Because I was armed. And I wasn't armed with a, a gun and a taser like he was. I was armed with information. I knew exactly what my rights were in that moment. And so did the cop. And he was... This cop and every single other police officer in the United States... I know this doesn't apply to the British people as much or the Australian people. You guys have different police forces who operate in different ways. But as far as the United States, every single officer, almost, is taught to lie to you, to trick you, to prey on the fact that the majority of us do not know our rights. We don't know what the cops are entitled to do and what they're not allowed to do. The majority of the American population has no idea what their rights are. And cops prey on this. They use this all the time to illegally detain, to illegally ascertain your identity identity to illegally put you into databases it's all illegal but you consent to it because you don't know what your rights are a cop can legally in the United States lie to you he can tell you that you must show me your ID 
Now, when when ninety five percent of people hear this, they're gonna say, "Oh, the cop said I have to." Let's here's my ID. Okay, that is a lie. They are allowed to lie to you. They are trained to lie to you to take advantage of your ignorance of the law. Now, knowing this, guys, why don't you know your rights? It varies from state to state. It varies by interaction to interaction, type of peace officer that you're dealing with. You're going to have to do some research because your rights aren't taught to you in school. No one's teaching you what your rights are because the, the government doesn't want you to know what your rights are. If you don't know what your rights are, it's very easy for them to slowly take them away from you little bit by little bit. That's why you have to be armed with information. If you want to fight the cops, if you want to fight intimidation, you do not need a weapon. You do not need a gun. You don't need anything except your brain. You need information. You need to arm yourself with information. If you catch a cop trying to do something to you like this, it's their job on the line. Okay? So they're doing it knowing that their job is on the line if they get caught doing it. So catch that cop in the act. Catch him. I considered filing a police report, uh, a complaint against this, this officer. And I thought about it, and I thought about it for a long time. And I think I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt because I did stand up to him in a very aggressive manner. Uh, like I said, I've seen him do this before. So I was, basically in my mind, I said, I am not taking this shit from you right now today. Basically, that was my attitude. And of course, that escalated things, and I, it probably made things worse for me. But I was right. In the end, I was right. He was wrong. And what came of that was nothing. He, he left. Uh, because he knew that he was dealing with someone who was not going to be intimidated. Who was not going to lay down for him and let him do illegal things to me. Okay? So I encourage all of you guys to stand up for yourself. Stand up for your rights. Know your rights and stand up for them. Because the police aren't there to help you. No matter what your parents or your school has told you, the police aren't there to help you. They're there to hook and book and, and gain revenue from it. So keep that in mind as you walk around the, the city on your daily lives. Uh, if you live in Britain or England or... <laughs> same thing. If you, if you live in England or Australia or any of these places, know your rights there too. They're, they're very different rights, so don't like go by this video, okay? <laughs> don't base any information that you are going to be using against police by this video. What I'm telling you today is to go research your rights. Go find out what they are and then exercise them, okay? So we're winding down this video. I want to th say thank you to Stale Raisin. He made this kitchen go a lot faster than it would have without him. So thank you again, Stale, for helping me out in this endeavor. We got us a uh, jailhouse kitchen, guys, looking good. All right, there he is, Stale Raisin. Always a helpful guy. Don't stay long. Happy Minecrafting, guys. Peace.